Acres upon acres of charred ground. Over 300 incendiary kites sent from Gaza in the last month, wreaking havoc on Israeli border communities, setting hundreds of fires throughout the region. Land, crops, and landscapes coated in black and damage estimated at millions of dollars. But for residents of these communities, there are fires and there are flowers, and the daily routine is not lost, maybe just temporarily disrupted. It's easy to say there's no one to speak to on the other side, so we continue to use force. So I think if there's no one to speak to, you have to create or find someone to speak to. And when you speak to somebody on the other side, you're speaking with the problem, with someone who's fought us, who's killed us, who we don't want to speak to. But there's no choice. You have to speak to them. For residents of these communities, though, it's not only about kites and fires. It's about living in a state of conflict from one spike in violence to another, an issue that some residents feel like needs to be dealt with differently. That's exactly the paradox of this place. In times of tranquility, you look around and everything's peaceful. You see only green, trees, and children running around at the pool. And in days of tension, we become a war zone, day and night, 15 seconds to get up and run to a shelter. That's our reality. For now, there's no solution in sight or a definitive end to the recurring violence, which started with a Palestinian Great March of Return on March 30th. In the meantime, residents are living between green and black, at least for the time being. Daniel Tzemach, I-24 News.